Okay, got a haircut, had a headache for five days, it's finally gone. My room is a mess. Let's do this. Greetings, Internet, and welcome to another episode of A Comedy Musician Reacts. My name is Insane Ian, I am a comedy musician and comedy music fan, and today we are celebrating the release of another comedy music album. Now, as many of you know, the past couple of weeks I've been talking about Ninja Sex Party's new album, Level Up, which is released today everywhere. But in addition to that, we have another new comedy release from Ian Lockwood. His EP, Not Like Other Girls, also releases today. And we'll be taking a look at two music videos from that. Uh, the title track, unfortunately, I'm not checking out because I'd already saw that music video when he performed it live at Fump Fest, which was an amazing performance. Um, but uh, you can check that out on his channel. We have uh, reacted to his I Don't Think This Is The Club on this channel, which is fantastic. But now we're looking at two different songs that are from his brand new EP. We're first looking at No Homo and then Your Dad, which almost makes a sentence in a weird, sick kind of way. No Homo, Your Dad. Whatever, sure. Why, well, you know. Anyway, if you like this sort of content, please like, share, comment, subscribe, and if you really want to help the channel out, consider supporting me on Patreon, where you get to see these videos early, get some of my own music, and all sorts of other cool things like that at patreon.com slash insaneian. Uh, of course, I will be pausing so that I can actually react to these videos. If you want to see these uncut and without me yammering all over them, links to the videos are in the description below. All of that out of the way, let's dive in. The first video, No Homo. Gee, I, I wonder what this could be about. Shot recently, I think, because I, I, I think he, he dyed his hair blonde just before Fump Fest. <laughs> he's, he's not, I don't think he's blonde in the, uh, in the, uh, Not Like Other Girls video, which was the video just before this one, but, uh, felt like throwing that in for some reason, sorry. <laughs> A plane landing, or taking off with my girl took a one-way flight, <laughs> but now I got my boys here with me. And it is him playing every person again on a green screen, just like the, uh, uh, I don't think this is the club video. The, the one with the football is just giving me, uh, football player vibes from Dragon Slayer from Ninja Sex Party. <laughs> the whole America outfit. The wigs and the beards this time are are exceptional. Uh, wow, that is that is a look. The dude is wearing a shirt, a tank top that is looks like a, a, a beverage cup. A beverage cup. I am without the words today. Sure, that's fine. Let me jump it back a little. All right now, it decides to do a single frame when I hit that button. Never did before. Sure, cool. That's. Groovy. I've been down. My girl took a one way flight. But now I got my boys here with me. We're making the most of the night. Let's go crazy. Let's get a while. I'm feeling amazing. Let's go for a drive. <laughs> Just the visual of the car. With all of them standing up in it, is it is it a convertible? It kind of doesn't look like a convertible. It just looks like they're all suddenly coming out of the roof of the car, and that's a that's a lot of people that are just kind of hanging out in the back of this. They're standing up in the back of a car. That's not physically possible, is what I'm saying, and that's what makes it funny to me. 
just realized I've actually heard the song. Uh, I haven't heard the studio version of it, but but Ian performed it at Fump Fest. So I've actually heard the song before, but I hadn't I haven't seen the video for it. This is great. <laughs> Every time he he says no homo, it cuts to a different shot of of a of a smash zoom. It's so good. <laughs> the, the, the every time again it's it's that it's that uh how how do i best explain this it's that uncomfortable heterosexual guy who who he's uncomfortable in his own sexuality that he can't compliment another dude uh, without saying, oh, I, I, you know, I'm not gay. No homo. I hate the phrase no homo. Uh, but when used for comedy purposes, cool. Uh, especially if you're making fun of that trope. Uh, and, uh, you know, obviously that's what you, you want to make fun of these kind of things. You don't want to punch down. Uh, so this is still punching up on the phrase because the phrase itself is punching down. Uh, yeah, let's over explain shit. We. Um, no, but I, I, and every, and every time he says it in the video, he's doing something that's stereotypically male, stereotypically, uh, hetero, where he's like, oh, I'm grilling on the thing. I'm fixing a car, holding a wrench and covered in grease. And yeah, okay. Perfect dichotomy shift on those is like clearly proving no homo because, uh, clearly hetero with all the hetero things that I'm doing. Like gay people don't work on cars or grill. See, society? You're dumb. Anyway. <laughs> while still being tough and fully straight and there's something really funny about this because there's the the sunrise behind him but it's actually projected on the wall in front of him so it's causing this weird tan line to happen where his face is very pale because of the sun image hitting him and everything below it is just like, it seems tan because of the rest of the image. And it's just kind of a funny look. <laughs> this may not have been intentional, but it... <laughs> Again, sports. But like in like a straight, not gay way. <laughs> it doesn't count if you leave on a socks. What? <laughs> it doesn't count if you leave on the socks. Sure, okay. <laughs> Who needs our exes? My bro has my heart. Let's jump in the hot tub. Stay five feet apart. <laughs> yeah, we could get married. Friends of mine. <laughs> Used to used to have the whole uh, if we're sitting on the couch watching a movie we can't have the uh, my cat is playing with a, a ball outside the door if you happen to hear that rumbling out there uh, you you can't have, be sitting next to each other you have to have what they called the gay barrier put a pillow between you two so you're not accidentally touching and you know this was ages ago and obviously grown and matured since then 
And, you know, it's it is just one of those kind of, like, really stupid things that we did. Oh, no, have to have the gay barrier. Can't touch. And, like, they were making fun of the fact that they had to do the gay barrier. Because they honestly did not care. Um, but at the same time, it, it's not the kind of joke they would make now. <laughs> it's like, we realized that was dumb. Why would we do that? It's, you know. Again, growth. That'll be a fun, out-of-context clip. <laughs> growth. Whatever. Sucks. Who needs our exes? My bro has my heart. Let's jump in the hot tub. Stay five feet apart. <laughs> yeah, we could get married as sort of a goof. I want you to take me as long as our balls don't touch, dude. Bro, you're <laughs> tight and... <laughs> oh my god that is so funny number one using the football and basketball as the balls visual of two people in bed clearly in flagrante delecto uh but you know you can take me as long as our balls don't touch so we can have sexual relations coitus you can bang each other as long as our balls don't touch so clearly, sex with another man, no homo, unless their balls touch. That's the only degree of homosexuality. Absolutely hilarious. Uh, also, one of the things I loved doing uh, to, to friends of mine was what we called the uncomfortable hug. Is you grab somebody in a hug really tightly, and your, your mouth is next to their ear because you're hugging them, and you whisper directly into their ear. Our balls are touching. The uncomfortable hug. Now, it's not uncomfortable for the person giving it, because they know what they're about. You're just trying to gauge what the other person is uncomfortable with. And generally, if they're hugging you, they don't give a shit. Uh, it's just a funny thing. We did that in college before I came out as bi. It was a thing, you know. <laughs> <laughs> the fishing outfit is great. We could take it slow, take the time, no homo. Holy Bible, no homo. That's hilarious. God, that's so good. All the cutaways are so good. Dark chocolate and red wine, no homo, yeah. I said no homo, so it's okay. Just you bros exploring bodies. I'll still be tough. He kind of looks like Ryan Reynolds in the notebook with the cap and the thing and the stuff. Just just in that one shot. I don't know why. Not Ryan Reynolds. Ryan Gosling. What am I saying? Whatever. Uh, yeah. This, it's just a great video. Grew up as child with companions. <laughs> Your family's estate was right next to my family's farm. Oh, just you. The only one I'd show my poems to. My I like how they've like framed this as a romantic comedy kind of thing. Uh and just all the green screen effects. They're so like clearly green screen effects, but still like quality enough that they're like yeah we're winking at you we know the effects are what they are but at the same time it's still giving the message of the video i need to get better with my green screen it's all it is i just need to get better with my green screen it was right next to my family's farm oh just you the only one i'd show my poems to my father said books were distractions the only one I'd show my poems to is also a great line. <laughs> You're really world building in this breakdown. <laughs> I had to learn how to do agriculture. <laughs> and your mom saw us laying in the grass, trading with spirits, holding hands, took you in and No binoculars, just going like this. That's great. Told your dad the next day you had a fresh bruise, took you to St. Andrews. I'd never see you again. 
And suddenly it was ten years later You were a well-known pastor by profession A humble farmer wanders into confession And he's sweating and he looks dirty and tan And it drives you crazy when he enters the confessional Breathing heavy stress in hell Tell you I'm a sinner but I never start writing Just take the poem I wrote on the day that you left And you said you did this is just a whole story. <laughs> Man, this this whole bridge breakdown has become its own separate narrative that is so genius. <laughs> like like it's so far uh pulled away from the song itself. Like it's still like a dude who's clearly straight uh you know getting in touch with his feelings about a, one of his bros. And then, like, it becomes this whole, like, romance novel narrative of the the farmer boy and in the 1800s and, you know, his, his friend that he shares his poems to that he's secretly in love with that has become a priest and is now... Wow! That's, like, that's... We've gone on a journey and this song is only four minutes long and we're at three and a half... Uh, it's a lot. Heavy <laughs> stress in hell, tell you. I'm a sinner, but I never start writing. Just take the poem I wrote on the day that you left, and you said you didn't leave me, you were taken. Just read the damn poem, please, so you take it through the screen like a dream. There's so much that you want to say, but you can't, though. And also because he's playing all the parts, it just already even more hilarious you open the parchment it says no oh, 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 oh. Bro, <laughs> i was talking about hold that whole narrative build up i've only heard the song once before this so i didn't remember but that whole narrative build up up to it and the 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 what do you expect is a poem or a confessional of love and it just says no homo Oh my god, so, so genius. That is great. <laughs> <laughs> fishing in what is clearly not near any water. <laughs> Bravo. Bravo. Excellently done. All right. Uh, why is this called Old Your Dad? Oh, because I'm looking at a pre-release version. Uh, yeah, this, this video actually premieres today, Friday the 22nd. Uh, and Ian was kind enough to send me an early look at the video so that I could react to it in time for it to come out at the same time as the video. Uh, so yes, this is an exclusive look. Uh, I mean, you can check out the real video on his channel, uh, which is going to be linked below. But uh, I got to see this now when I'm recording this because I put these out early for my Patreons. Yeah, this turned into a weird plug situation because I forgot things and then remembered them. I, I've i had a headache all week, like that, uh, like a debilitating headache all week. Uh, so I, I didn't get a chance to film this when I wanted to. And uh, now I'm doing it and forgetting things and remembering things I forgot. And we, all right, anyway, blah, we're going to go in again with another video for your dad. Uh, the next song and single and video from Not Like Other Girls by Ian Lockwood. Wow, I'm I'm just brain dead. Okay, anyway. <laughs> Thank you for taking me home. We're all alone. It's just you, me, and your folks. Can't wait to meet them. I bet they're so sweet, and I love them as much as I love you, babe. Then I see that dad with the thick thighs Serving corduroy, giving me eyes Let me catch my breath, what a surprise <sighs> <laughs> Oh 
already, already, it's <laughs> exactly what I expected it to be. But Ian tends to do a lot of subversion of expectations in his songs, so we'll see where that leads. Looking like you, only better. Looking good, Argyle sweater. The shot of the Crocs and the sandals, uh, already an amazing cut. Tell a joke, you give me a lecture. What a lecture. <laughs> thick B, thick A, thick 401k. <laughs> oh my god, that is my favorite three lines. It's such, I mean, comedy is a lot, built a lot on the rule of threes. And you have, you have, you know, when, when writing a comedy song, especially first, second, third verse works on the rule of threes is you have the joke, you have the escalation of that joke, and then you have the extreme escalation of that. And thick D, thick A, already very funny lines to be sung, but moving that to thick 401k, holy crap. Uh, I laughed so hard my headache came back. Wow. <laughs> oh, man. That is... That is perfection. Wow. That is so good. You give me a lecture. What a lecture. And the, the, how upset the boyfriend is, is great, too. Thick B, thick A, thick 401k. You dad, you dad, you dad. That's such a great line. Oh my goodness. Was not expecting to see that. I was talking and missed the line. That cash, that class, that dump, truck ass. Your dad, your dad, your dad. Oh man. That Tommy Bahama, that LL Bean, Queen, fuck machine. Oh my god, these lyrics are gonna kill me. Holy shit, that's funny. Your dad, your dad. Yeah. Nice transition. That Tommy Bahama, that LL Bean, Queen, fuck machine. Daddy Peen is showing through his cat keys. Yeah. <laughs> you can be my Jeff Goldblum, make a baby life find so way. Oh my god. What a, a, this 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 song is only three and a half four minutes long, and it has some of the best lines I've ever heard. Like Jeff Goldblum, "Baby Life Finds a Way." Holy shit, so good. Yeah, you can be my Nemo's dad. Find me tangled in some lingerie. <laughs> Stanley Tucci on my tushia. Stanley Tucci on my tushy, yeah. Holy shit. Man, that's funny. Hey. Oh, Tell shit. Me that your mom's in the picture. I can make her go away. Here's the plan. Dress up like a ghost. Follow her around. I'm really good at hiding so nobody finds out. Got her feeling crazy and nobody will believe her. So she gets her therapist. He makes a promise to relieve her. Knock him out from behind. She's at the scene of the crime. <laughs> this is what I was talking about uh, for that rule of three escalation. <laughs> that whole... Once again, he's subverting the expectations in the song and is just going, you got, you had the first verse where he, he notices the dad, the second verse where he's making all these elaborate and uh, sexual advances to the dad, and the third verse is how to get rid of the mom, and holy crap, oh my god, and it, it's always, like with, uh, I don't think this is the club where the third verse is so extreme beyond what you expect. Uh, absolutely brilliant. I, I, I wish I had the skill uh, of, of writing like that. I, I, I never push myself far enough to do that kind of thing. And people who can do it and do it well, 
absolutely 1000% have my respect because that is, it's difficult to do, but it's also difficult to do well. Ian Lockwood does that very, very well. This is fantastic. Nobody finds out. Got her feeling crazy and nobody will believe her. So she gets her therapist. He makes a promise to relieve her. Knock him out from behind. She's at the scene of the crime. She says it was a ghost. I put your mom in a psych ward. Mom in a psych ward. <laughs> Gaslight her ass. Put your mom in a psych ward. Thick D. Thick A. Thick 401k. Your dad, your dad, your dad. <laughs> Your mom in a <laughs> sign that said dad's barbecue and it cuts to him going i put your mom in a psych ward oh that's so goddamn funny i, I was gonna go back a little bit but this is i'm hitting the wrong button i put your mom in a psych ward sorry about it sorry about it <laughs> bitch okay okay sorry you're literally making such a big deal about it i put your mom in a psych ward <laughs> Serves you right for being gay. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Holy crap, that was absolutely hilarious. Wow. If you enjoyed these, please go check out Ian Lockwood's new EP, Not Like Other Girls. Check out the video for Not Like Other Girls. Check out the links to these videos in the description below to see them without me laughing my face off at them uh and of course go support ian lockwood if you like the uh way that i do these things please consider liking sharing commenting subscribing all of that helps get more eyes on these videos and helps feed the algorithm and all that good stuff i have a brand new song myself coming out next friday so the reaction for next week will be moved to saturday my new video will be coming out friday uh, there's a preview of it in the credits after all of this, so thanks everybody, we'll see you next time. Bye. Transylvanian Highway Bats fly through the air I think I see a zombie Rising up over there Up ahead in the distance A castle just